approach the holiday weekend, several area lakes are still having problems when it comes to toxic blue-green algae. Eufaula, Tin Killer, and Keystone still have serious advisories against swimming. Those warnings are also in place for Texoma, Skyatook, and Fort Gibson. Elsewhere, authorities are taking new steps to monitor the BGA. Two News reporter Dan Perlman is live in the newsroom to tell us what they're doing. Well, unlike the 4th of July weekend, there is no BGA threat in Grand Lake. Even if there were, the Grand River Dam Authority now has the ability to track it sooner. They now have two devices on either side of the Pensacola Dam. The machines are there to check things like water temperatures, pH levels, and oxygen levels, all factors which contribute to blue-green algae. These will not help combat or stop the algae from spreading, but they are unique and will be very helpful. We've never had anything like this on Grand Lake before, this kind of information. It will also allow us to see if conditions are conducive for blue-green algae. As we said, there are some lakes still threatened by BGA. If you are heading out for the Labor Day weekend, check out the website you see right there on your screen. That's where the Army Corps of Engineers is posting all updates about the algae in Oklahoma lakes. As for the new devices, you may also now see them in Hudson Lake. Live in the newsroom, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.